Welcome to The Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Casey Marie Hertz, and today we're going to be answering a viewer question. Hi Casey, I'm a big fan of all the release work you teach in your workshops and I also worked with my clients with the balls. They love it. I find myself at the end of a session and haven't done any real exercises. It's tough to squeeze in the calm release work with regular strengthening work. How do you create a class with a combination of release work and regular exercises? Maybe you could also do a workshop with that topic. This is such an excellent question and it's really important to find that balance between the release work that most people need to find a better organization in their body and also the strengthening work that helps to keep the compensatory patterns at bay so that people can kind of walk around with their release work in their body on a more habitual basis. Now, the way that we structure things in our studio that seems to work really, really well is that we do mat classes that are just release work oriented. Those are our kind of restore and release classes. We have a few of them a week. They're very highly attended so our clients know that they're coming in for that full body self massage self care class now in our other classes our more group oriented classes typically if it's a more of a gentle strengthening class what we'll do is start the class about 10 maybe 15 minutes of release work um, just to get people's bodies warmed up kind of as our mentor Marie Jose always says tenderize the meat before you cook it then we go into our really detailed cueing of the exercises that help support that release work and for helping people to play on the equipment in a, in a much easier way now with private clients, there's a little bit more give and take in this. If you have a client that's more therapeutic client that has a, a lot of things going on in their body, a lot of restructuring, sometimes you do have to front load some of the release work so that they can start to understand this. But then I give it to them as homework. So the first few sessions with them might be a lot of release work, but only just a couple times so that they know what to do at home because that's really where the magic happens that people are doing this once, two, three times a day Every single day I don't see them. So then when they walk into the studio, they're ready for their work. They can even do that at home as a little bit of a warm up before they get into the studio, which is the best case scenario. Um, the other thing that you wanna start to do is as their body starts to change, you'll know the right time to start inserting more more of like the, the traditional exercises to support that. Now, what I like to do, and I know a lot of our teachers in the studio like to do, is actually do release and movement at the same time. You'll see a lot of that in um, the practical release uh, femur and pelvis. I do a lot of that work, but it can be as simple as setting up the reformer during footwork. This could be at a class or a private. Taking two release work balls, placing one underneath each glute cheek. From here, you can do some external rotation of the femur, have people get into their body, release all of that gripping at the back of the pelvis. They can even go into some footwork, probably have to adjust a little bit, feeling where their neutral is, seeing if they can do all of those great cues that we do in all the different uh, footwork positions without gripping on the, uh, the release work balls. So these are some really nice ways to structure and balance release work with your traditional strengthening work that gives dramatic long lasting results. That's all for today. If you have an observation or a question that you'd like to see answered on an upcoming episode, please comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or a forum. See you next time and never stop learning. <music>